Mr. Cacciatore. Dave Cacciatore on behalf. Dave Cacciatore on behalf of the state. Ms. Boone, good morning. Could you please raise your right hand so Madam Clerk can swear you in? Yes, Madam Yes. Ma'am, good morning. Can you state your name and date of birth for the record for me? Sarah Boone, 101077. Um, we also have a representative from Prison Break Investigations. Sir, if you could come forward, please. If you could, sir, raise your right hand. Madam Clerk's going to go ahead and swear you in. All right, sir, good morning. Could you state your name for the record? Billy Lane. And Mr. Lane, what's your affiliation with Prison Break Investigations? I'm the owner and chief investigator. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, the reason the court had this hearing this morning is the court has found that Ms. Boone has forfeited her right to counsel uh, and waived her right to counsel alternatively by virtue of her conduct in this case. As such, Ms. Boone is currently representing herself. Um, the court has been working diligently to provide you the discovery. I received your letter, ma'am, and I have reviewed it. We have not forgotten about you. It's just taken some time in order to coordinate the appropriate processes with the jail. In conversations with the jail, a laptop has been secured and will be issued to you after USB drives are provided with all the discovery. Upon the jail's receipt of those items, the following provisions will be adhered to. The laptop charging cable, and USB devices will be kept in the FDC main control room when not in use. At no time will the charging cord be placed in the housing unit. Upon the return of the laptop to the FDC main control, the laptop will be placed on the charging cable to ensure it is available for the next day's usage. The laptop and USB device is to be accounted for with the control room inventory. The control room DST or CO will make logbook entries for the issuing and returning the USB device and laptop. The dorm officer will make logbook entries for the receiving and returning of these items to the applicable movement officer. A notebook entry will be completed in IMS for every issuance of the laptop and USB device to inmate Boone. The laptop and USB device will be available daily to you, Ms. Boone, between 0800 and 1600 hours. A notebook entry will be completed in IMS for every issuance of the laptop and USB device to yourself, Ms. Boone. Um, the discovery was provided at the court previously and is in the two bankers boxes that are in front of the court to your left, Mr. Um, Lane. I'm going to order your, you, sir, to take possession and custody of that discovery that was provided to the court previously on June 28, 2024. You, through Prison Break Investigations, shall copy all of the discovery onto as many USB drunk, dump drives as necessary. The Judicial Administration Commission for the State of Florida shall be responsible for the fees and costs due to Prison Break Investigations for copying all of the discovery onto as many USB jump drives as necessary. <clears throat> you will appear uh, with a hear uh, for a hearing with the court on August 1st, 2024 at 845 in courtroom 12A of the Orange County Courthouse with the discovery and all USB jump drives containing the discovery. A representative from the Orange County Jail shall also appear for that hearing as well. At that point in time, Prison Break Investigation yeah. shall hand deliver all USB jump drives containing the discovery to the representative from the Orange County Jail in order to be placed onto the laptop that is currently secured and to be issued to the defendant for all trial and court preparation. Do you have any questions for me, sir? I have a conflict for August 1st, Your Honor. I'm okay. I have a state from Tuesday until Friday's next week, which I believe the conference office first uh, for a, my son's wedding. Okay. Well, congratulations. We can, when do you return from your son's wedding, sir? I will be back uh, late Friday evening, so I'll be available the following week. Okay. Um, will you be able to complete that task by that time? Okay, sir. We will see you on Mon on um, give me a second. I want to make sure I get the date right. Monday, August five at uh, eight forty five. Okay, you'll be given a copy of the order that I just read from Miss Boone. You'll also be copied given a copy of the order. Do you have any questions for me? I am thoroughly confused. I was the notice ever cut online for this or mailed to anyone? Mm -hmm. I don't even know why Mr. Lane is here. I don't know why I'm here. Well, ma'am, you are now representing yourself. And previously, you had requested to be 
uh, appear at every hearing that was held. As you are now representing yourself, the court cannot have any hearings regarding your case without you being here. I put on the record and explained to you the process that the court has had with communications with the jail. I'm not allowed to look at any of that. I'm not allowed to copy any of that. So in speaking with the jail and understanding that you still have a private investigator that was provided to you through the state that's being compensated by the state, you're still allowed to utilize his services. The protections of the attorney-client privilege are still applicable to him. So he's able to review any of these documents, ensure that they are safely copied without violating any terms of the privileges. Those will then be placed on multiple USB drives and provided to you. Those USB drives will then be uploaded to a computer that has been secured for you at the jail for you to access all of that information. Okay. My question is, was a notice of hearing posted or mailed to anyone to where apparently the news crews obviously got it? How is it that I do not know anything about this other than my bunk being kicked at three o'clock in the morning telling me I have court? Ma'am, I have no other way to get in touch with you other than setting the hearing, which was set yesterday once I received confirmation from the jail as to the processes for how this would work. And I understand that your case is important and I want to move it as efficiently, as diligently as possible. I know that you've been waiting for this information and it took some time to confirm the process with the jail. You've advised me that you have very limited space. You have almost no privacy. You have a small drawer where you can keep some personal effects. We could not send all of those boxes with you to the jail and the jail advised me that they cannot take all those boxes. A process had to be created to make sure. And this is the process. The process that I was explaining after speaking to a couple of sergeants and um, I've been waiting for that and I would much rather prefer a hard copy of these to where I can write on them as opposed to anything that's on a laptop. I am unable to provide that for you. I have been provided the, the uh, process has been provided to me by the Orange County Jail. I, I understand that's your preference, but I can't do anything more than what I've done right now. I understand. And I have had other information given to me, which is why I've been waiting for the boxes for them. So I don't know, is this something that I need to pursue continuously still for me to be able to receive my hard copies because no one tells me anything. I can't answer. I cannot answer that question because that may call for me providing you legal advice, which I am prohibited from doing. Okay. Well, because I have no other way of contacting you other than in a letter and it's AKA worldwide. So am I supposed to go back and speak to the captain and whoever else it is that I might need to speak to in order to receive these? Again, I cannot answer that question. All I can tell you is that we will have a hearing on August 5 or by which uh, prison break investigations will provide all of the information on USB drives. Those will be provided to a representative from the Orange County Jail who will place all that information on a laptop for you to use. And that's accessible for your use from 0800 to 1600 every day. Right. Okay. So I guess I will figure that out because if I'm up at two o'clock in the morning, I can't utilize the laptop, which is why another reason why I was looking forward to the hard copies. So my other question is, is my time prorated for the time that I've been waiting for my discovery? I, I'm not sure I understand what that means. Will I be having additional time added or will it be extended from the time period of me waiting for my discovery still? I'm not in a position to answer that question. I don't know what I don't know what it is that you're asking for. My pretrial is supposedly set for September 24th, I believe it is. So obviously I will not be prepared, be prepared. And obviously I do not know what I'm doing. And obviously I'm still waiting for my discovery. So for that time period that I have been waiting for almost four weeks now, will that be added to the time frame in order for me to be properly prepared? As of right now, the dates are what the dates are, ma'am. Okay, so I just miss a week. I'm I'm at. The dates are what the dates are. So I also sent you, I believe, five motions. Have you received those? No, ma'am, I have not. The only mailed last week. Then I have not received them yet. The last correspondence I got from you, ma'am, was received on July 8th. Okay. Five motions I've mailed. They're probably sitting wherever else it is, considering it takes a day for you all to receive my mail, considering I'm right down the street from you all. So I have those also in order, which may change whatever information or Anything that I'm trying to acquire in between now, the month less that I have in order to prepare for my 
trial that's in October. So if you could keep an eye out for those also. Um, I don't know how, who I'm supposed to ask. How did Mr. Lane come into any of this? Like how was he? Mr. Lane has been your um, investigator in this case. And he was advised to attend this morning's hearing by virtue of being provided the discovery in order to digitize it so that you can have access to it. The court contacted him? I did not contact him. I'm, am I allowed to speak to him directly? You can. Um, Mr. Lane, who contacted you in order for you to be here, please? Um, GA. If I'm pro se and my own attorney, should I not be included in all of this so I know what's going on and not a surprise hearing like it is again for the second time? Ma'am, again, this is why there were benefits to being represented by counsel. The court has already identified in its 16-page order the reasons for why you no longer have those benefits. Right. Which it makes things more. exceptionally more difficult, as I explained to you, in communicating with the court and communicating with the state attorney's office. Isn't that what a certificate of service is for anything that's filed by anybody in the court? There, there that was should be included in that. Ma'am, there was no certificate of service for setting this for today. This was coordinated by the JA. You were advised as soon as it was set. It was set yesterday. It's just very odd to me that the news knew about it before I did. Again, I can't speak to that. And so nonetheless, my constitutional rights counsel is being forfeited on your behalf in the court. So now I don't get appropriate notice in preparation for me to be able to be here and doing what I'm supposed to be doing and act as and perform as? I've already addressed the reasons, ma'am, for why there was a forfeiture and alternatively a waiver in the 16-page order that you were provided. Again, it's difficult to communicate with you based on where your current housing is. I'm not able to pick up the phone. The court, the judicial assistant's not able to pick up the phone to communicate with you or send you an email to schedule certain things. And it loves a little bit of a level of further complication. How is it the news knows before my, I do? Uh, you keep asking the same question and the answer is gonna be the same. I cannot answer that question for you because I do not know. Okay, but you do know it's harder for me. I, I would agree with that, yes. And you do know that you did not ask me any questions in regards to your order. You just read it straight off and never asked me what's what or how many with anything of it. Ma'am, there's if you have questions, I can certainly try to answer them. I'm trying to facilitate you getting that information that you're certainly entitled to. And it took time for a process to be created by the Orange County Jail, as they had advised me. They do not have a place to store two bankers boxes of information, nor are they in a position to provide you physical copies. This is what I've been advised as the process is. As soon as that process was finalized, I set the hearing. This was finalized yesterday. No one ever asks me. I've been waiting for the boxes. Um, I really don't know what to say. And because I supposedly have no way to contact you other than a letter and the same for you, I don't know how the news crews got here before I did. But I don't know... Going forward, how is it that I'm supposed to be able to communicate with you other than me sitting here in front of you at these, I guess, supposed surprise hearings that I'm going to have every single time that it is that you would like to speak to me? Is that what it's going to be? Ma'am, I cannot answer that question. All I can tell you is that you, you can communicate with the court through the avenues that you've been utilizing previously by and through letter writing. As I said, I do not have your letters that you sent last week. They're not in the court file and they were not in my inbox yesterday. So as soon as I receive them, I will diligently review them. And if we have to set a hearing, you'll be properly noticed for it. In the certificate of service. You'll be properly noticed for it. Yes, ma'am. And will there be a proper notice for today? Notice was performed last night. I've Can already I explained. the news crews how they got here? No, ma'am. I'm not going to let you do that. They're not under oath. They're not a party to this action right now. It's. It's wrong and it's unfair. You certainly entitled to that opinion. Um, am I allowed to ask him a question? Sure, go ahead. Um, Mr. Lane, how is it that you and I are supposed to be speaking to one another? So, my suggestion would be that you're now the attorney and you will pro se, that either you or your honor gives me access to the jail to. Come visit with you, and I'll be happy to do that. It is the 
the policy of the Orange County Jail to have a letter representing from an attorney to allow me to access you. That's the reason for the past the previous couple of attorneys I thought I had the ability to come out and access you, but that's changed. And I'll be happy to continue to move forward with any investigative actions that could be fixed as long as I can get access. So you need a letter from me? Or the judge or the jail, somebody that will allow me access to you. Yes, ma'am. And I send it to you directly? Yes, ma'am. Is this a letter also that you'll be supplying to him? I don't know that I'm in a position to compel the Orange County Jail to do anything. But you are the ones who contacted him. But I can't tell the jail, let this person come talk to you. If they have a policy where you need to provide the letter, then you need to provide the letter. So until you have that letter, you and I will not be able to speak with one another? I will contact the jail myself and find out if there's potential to pro se or maybe they can speak to you directly to certainly get the actual letter itself. Thank you. Ma'am, do you have any other questions? I don't think you have enough time. I'm just doing my best. And if you could please keep an eye out for my missions. I will be on the lookout for them. You said there were five, correct? Yes. Right, I will be on. Please include me on the certificate of service for whatever hearings that we have that are no longer a surprise for me, please. Understood. You'll be given a copy of the court's order that I read momentarily. Uh, and I will see you both on August 5 at 845. All right. Thank you all very much. Mr. Cacciatore, anything further, sir? Nothing from the state. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Oh, wait. Before you leave, that is all going to be yours. Uh, yes, I would, sir. So that you can begin the digitization process. All right. I'll see you on the 5th. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yes. I'm just... Yes. Um, so can you just hang out for a second so I can give you a copy of your work? Thank you. Thank you.